Zobaczcie, bo. Cox away day marathon started at Cardiff Central this morning with a pocket full of first class tickets from British Rail. If all goes well, they should take him on a 1300 mile round trip before 11.10 tomorrow. Some of his staff came to see him off, but what will he do on his journey? I've got the timetable to study because if the trains are running late, and BR have assumed they won't run late, but if they run late, I've got to decide do I get off at Sheffield and rather than go to Doncaster, or if I'm going all the way up to Edinburgh, do I get off at Berry Con Tweed? So the timetable will be my reading on the journey. But how are you going to eat for the next 24 hours? You bought your own provisions or are you going to eat no. British Rail sandwiches? I'm a retail store manager in Cardiff and my colleagues in our stores throughout the country are going to meet me at various stations. In other words, I change trains at Doncaster and they're going to meet me at lunchtime with a bottle of champagne, smoked salmon sandwiches, the same in Peterborough, the same in Newcastle. So I'm having visits from my colleagues throughout the country. It hopefully. sounds as if you couldn't face the prospect of 24 hours of British Rail meals. Well, <laughs> the expense, I would say, Jerry, rather than the quality of the food. A lifelong train enthusiast, Mike Wilcox started with a schoolboy's dream, a trip in the cab of a high-speed 125. Sometime tonight he'll be in a sleeper south from Edinburgh. The most critical connection will be tomorrow from Swansea back to Cardiff. If he misses that, he won't break any records and he'll also be... ...different, it hasn't been done before, so basically I thought, how far can I travel in a day? And I spoke to Guinness Book of Records said, sorry, you can't just go from... Cardiff New Powers and 387 miles in 24 hours and the great thing was of course I raised that yeah. amount of money in pounds for an SPCC not, yes. and then the company doubled it so I raised nearly 3,000 well over 3,000 pounds for an SPCC and the great thing was of course being a railway enthusiast in those days British Rail would have liked to travel in the cab of the locomotive so I travelled in the cab of the high speed train all the way up to uh, I think it was um, to Birmingham and it was terrific got myself in the uh, on the TV and so on and so forth and now every year
seen the autobalancers before. We haven't seen them in South Wales, Nick, have we? No. No, I don't think yeah, so. These no. are the ones with the hydraulically operated doors. All right. And they're one of our guys walks along with the controllers. Yeah. And as you're driving along two miles an hour, you can open the doors as you go along. And uh, under the control of the engineer and supervisor, All right. you can drop the ballast. 44 says 40. Where are you going now? 